Hello? Hi! Hello! Yes, I know this video is late within the week, but this week's been busy. Hello there, my name is Janeth, and this week on Bookish Friends, we are talking about the book we chose for the monthly theme. And the monthly theme for this month was magic, and so we had to read things with magic in it. And I read two stories with magic on it, one of them being Aladdin and the Lamp by an anonymous author. And the second one was The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. Both really good stories. The book I read for magic was How Was Moving Castle by Diane Wayne Jones. I was going to read this, but then I just wanted to read this. So I put this on hold. It is a book I really, really love. Read this like a couple years back, back in 2009. I borrowed it from my friend and just read it and I loved it. When I was rereading it, I like remember some scenes in my head and some scenes from the movie that I just knew because of the movie. Forgot a lot of like where the plot went, evil people. I don't know, I forgot a couple of things. And I really enjoyed it a lot this time. Like, I guess now that I, it refreshed my memory, I remember why I liked this so much. And uh, just a great story. I kind of feel like this should be like a fairy tale. I don't know. Just, it probably is. I, I just like it. This book is about Sophie Hatter, who has two sisters and a stepmom. The two sisters being Martha and Letty. And her stepmother, Fanny. And, you know, you have the whole family relations thing and then eventually Martha tells Sophie that her stepmom only looks after herself and I don't know, like stuff like that bashing on her stepmom and like Sophie doesn't see it but she kind of starts believing it after like she realizes that Fanny doesn't pay her for being her apprentice at the very least or any mention of payment or anything also she thinks that Fanny is just out to get her then later on like this witch puts a spell on her and since she's having these doubts about her stepmom she just leaves off the witch turned her into a 90 year old woman and yeah she'll she, she's old and i think i have a thing for old people in books i don't know there's just like a couple books out there in which i just adore just because it has old people in it just say and so she's under this spell and before like all that she's been hearing rumors about this wizard named howl who eats girls hearts and like does like these bad things with women and so as she is walking as a 90 year old woman she finds the castle in which Howell lives in and which is like an odd castle because it's a castle that walks around and moves so she's walking and you know she gets into this castle and she kind of stays there and starts working for Howell but before that she makes a deal with this fire demon in which is controlling the castle in order to break a sort of a spell and basically Sophie breaking the spell and being under spell has a lot to do with this book which is kind of cool because our theme was about magic and this is, really has a lot to do about magic so that was cool and the characters are awesome I really love the character of the fire demon named Calcifer he is my favorite character both in the movie and in the book he just has like this voice Diane Wayne Jones really knows how to put a voice into these characters they just seem so realistic I think this book is like a middle grade book so it does have like this nice sentence structures but it has like younger for young kids for younger people but it is a very good book I love the storyline I love the character I like the fact that after Sophie gets cast under this spell into a 90 year old woman or near around that age she doesn't react the way most of us would it's not like oh my god I'm old she doesn't she doesn't react like that she reacts like oh whoa you're old yeah i would have seen yeah and then she just kind of gets her stuff and leads i thought that was kind of cool and even after she like goes into like howl's place and like meets this fire demon and like all that stuff she just she's a very awesome character i like how her voice is just like an old woman i like how she just expresses herself she is not scared to express herself at all even if she is talking to like a fire demon or a wizard or a witch she speaks her mind no matter what 
I find that awesome. Calcifer is another great character. I find him very funny. I find him very characters, man. How he's funny. He is serious. He is... Ah, Diana built really well-rounded characters. This is a very character-based book. Or at least for me. I don't know. The storyline is also, like, interesting. It is very interesting. I don't think you will ever find anything like this ever again unless they just copy her work. I don't even know why I haven't even tried picking up the other two. I should. I really should. Love the movie. Love the book. Love the story. Love the characters. So much things I like about this book. Even if it is like a middle grade-ish, YA-ish read. I have like little tabs. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I have tabs. And I am going to go back and kind of highlight some of my favorite parts in this book, even though this book is my sister's, but she gave me permission to do that, so I'm going to do that. If you haven't read this book, just read it, check it out. If you love fairy tales and just magic stuff, if you love the movie, the, the movie is very different from the book. Like, it has certain plot points that are bo in both, but, you know, in the end, the book is always better, even though I love the animation about the movie, but it's another thing very good book it's a book i recommend to everybody um or i don't know some people don't like books about magic and stuff but ah uh, i don't know i think this is a book that you have to at least read once if not twice if not reread it as many times as you can <sighs> love it the moving castle has this door that transports you into different places. How genius is that? Just saying. I once said that if I could be in any book world, I would be in Jane Austen's Victorian era. Now I'm starting to think I may visit this world a bit. Seems cool. Come on, it has witches, it has wizards, it has Sophie and Calcifer and Howl. I love the ending, not the, the ending, the ending, best ending ever. And so the characters are awesome, Calcifer, the Scarecrow, the Moving Castle, Sophie, and where is Howl? I do not know, he is not there. There are a lot of like, cool stuff in here. I love Sophie, she's awesome. Just read it. Just read it. I'll see you guys later.